Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante talking about the Democratic debates that we just had. Well, the first one was with Michael Bloomberg. And what was great was Liz Warren actually calling him out for what he said out of the gate. She said, we have a, a, you know, there's a billionaire who said women have dog face lesbians and all this stuff, right? And, and she thought, oh, it's assuming Trump said that. No, it was Bloomberg. And she kept holding me accountable. Why they wouldn't let that go? And this was actually wonderful to see. This was, this was a good moment, actually. Uh, I've had a lot of criticisms of Liz Warren. She is not a progressive. Uh, she lied about Bernie saying women couldn't be president. That was just a tactic, but she had actual hard evidence of the Bernie, they got to concoct stuff, right? Bloomberg, there's just a mountain of evidence. All these women, and he wouldn't release the non-disclosure agreements. And so Liz Warren went, at, it was great. And just Bernie got to just hang back and let it happen. So I hope we're seeing like any of the like, any vote, any blue will do crowd or the like, you know, we just, just whoever can beat Trump, just get someone that can beat Trump. And it's like, do you really want Mike Bloomberg in there? Like, that's amazing to me that anyone, I saw a Bloomberg sticker on an Audi, like on a really expensive car. I was like, of course. And, and then Bloomberg tried to call Bernie out on like, you're a, you're a millionaire with three houses. Bernie made a million dollars one year because of his book. The prior year he made $500,000 and he owns three houses. Yeah, he's been in Congress and then the Senate for 30 years. So yeah, he owns some property. And he's like, where do you live? I live in, in New York and I proudly pay my taxes. Oh, so you're for tax. Like, it's such bullshit. Here's Mike Bloomberg golfing with Donald Trump, this guy he claims he hates so much. And, right? Giuliani and Bloomberg, they all, all of a sudden, oh, now Trump's the bad guy. What's the, what's, the real, what's the real connection here? What is the real connection here? Oh, it's Jalene Maxwell. Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend, Virginia Roberts, in a sworn deposition, said Maxwell raped and trafficked her. And that's Bloomberg with her, right? She settled out of court, settled out of court. So she's 100% innocent and Virginia Roberts is just some crazy opportunist, right, that's trying to get money from a socialite. You would really settle out of court with that accusation? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Somebody accused me of being a pedophile sex trafficker. I'm like, no, we are going to court. I am innocent. I will clear my name 100% what I would do. She settled out of court. Oh, here she is with Trump. Right? Right? Oh, uh, but that was a long time ago. So who knows? That could have just been in any old party. Oh, like this party. There's Bloomberg again with Trump. I don't know, is that Jared Kushner? Some, I don't know who that idiot is, but some, do you see how this is? Bloomberg can just buy his way in. He skips the first two. He skips Iowa, New Hampshire, and now he's in Iowa. It's so obvious. Everyone on that stage at the end of the debate said, well, let, well if it goes to a second ballot, well, let, 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 the, let the process work. They're all saying, let the process work because they know they can't win in just actual votes. They have to let the super delegates cheat Bernie again. That's the democratically, this is, someone is putting him up to this. Is it the Clintons? Because there's Jalene Maxwell at Chelsea Clinton's wedding with former president Bill Clinton, who was on Epstein's plane 26 times. Hillary was on two times. Hillary and Bill stated his New Mexico compound numerous times. Go to my Epstein playlist and I will talk all about this. Jalene Maxwell is currently, I just did a video on this, is currently being, she's hiding out in Israel. Not shocking, her dad was a Mossad agent. John Kariaku came on this show and, and alluded to the fact that it sounded like maybe the Israelis had something to do with Epstein's suicide. So why am I so vehemently against Bloomberg, first of all, he's a billionaire. And it's so funny, like we gotta get Trump out of, we got this, this awful billionaire out of the White House, so we're gonna replace him with another billionaire? Look, they're all friends. They're all friends. All have been on Epstein's plane. All of these people have been on Epstein's plane, all of them friends with Jalene Maxwell. That is the billionaire ruling class. 
That's why, and I'm so glad when they called Bernie, Bernie, you said billionaires shouldn't exist. He goes, you're damn right I did. And he didn't backpedal. He just said it's offensive. And, and Buttigieg, had, he kept trying to go after Bernie and he, he actually, he helped Bernie. It was, it was kind of great, man. So I don't know. I think this, I, we'll see. Of course, the corporate media will say Klobuchar finished strong or whatever. She got clocked and she gets so, uh, her face starts shaking when she's like getting called out. They called her out for not knowing the president of Mexico's name. And it wasn't just that, like that's a fair thing to say, well, anyone can forget a name. You do a million interviews, you can't remember names. I do that all the time. I would be like, um, wait, who is it? I could, I, I, I get that if you're not talking about that leader all the time, the way you talk about, you know, we know who, Putin. I talk about Scott Morrison the, uh, because we just had the fires in Australia. I was just in Australia. It'd be easy for me to like not remember but what the Telemundo woman did, she said, no, no, I, also in that interview, you didn't know anything about policy with Mexico and you didn't know anything like that. So it wasn't just jumping on her forgetting the name, which is, is, you could argue it's an honest mistake, but it was more than that. And Klobuchar really got clapped. Watching her and Mayor Pete go at it was fantastic. That was great. But this is why Bloomberg is awful. He's no different than Trump. He's no different than Trump. He's no different than Trump. No different than Trump. He was a Republican. Tonight on the debate, he tried to say, I helped this, I helped New York City after 9-11. No, 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 jackass, that was Giuliani. Giuliani was the mayor when 9-11 happened. And a lot of New Yorkers said, wow, Giuliani really rallied. People that didn't like or vote for, I'm not some big Giuliani fan. I'm just saying with regard to 9-11, that, that horrible event that happened that just was, I had friends that lived in New York and it was, it was, it was chaos. I couldn't talk to them. It, anyway, it, was, it was nuts. It was Giuliani who was the mayor. Any criticisms you want to have about Giuliani, they're all fair, they're all legitimate. But I would say he did a decent job after 9-11. So he, he, he just tried to take credit. That's, what, that's a Trump tech. Trump just takes credit for everything. Oh, we're celebrating the 50 years of the first man on the moon. Happened during my presidency, like Trump. That's an actual thing Trump said. He tried to get credit. Well, the first president ever to celebrate this moon landing because the 50th anniversary just happened during your presidency. This is... And he was getting eaten alive and these billionaires are not used to being talked to that way and not used to being called out. And he... he, he, he but this is the thing everyone should have called out his friendship with Jalene Maxwell, and his friendship with Donald Trump. This should be called out. And the billionaire ruling class. I don't know why Bernie doesn't, doesn't push back harder. He fought pretty hard tonight and his gloves came off and it was nice to see, but this thing should have been front and center. Boom. Shave your knuckles for justice. Ron Placone and I are in San Francisco, September 29th. Get your tickets at GrahamElwood.com, and we're in Florida, March 12th, Orlando, March 13th, Tampa, March 14th, Miami. Get your tickets at GrahamElwood.com.